Hello everyone, it is Janelle Stewart here, and I just want to share with you today, um, which is actually a two-part um, topic on something that we, a lot of times as parents, and even I've noticed um, teachers do the same thing too, to our children, and even parents as teachers, um, we, we word what pretty much not intentionally what we want to um, to come across to our children, but because of the way we word it, it leaves a lasting impression on them, right? So what I want to talk to you today about is just wording it a little bit differently because I find, and I'll talk about this um, in part two, why my child was kind of like, on pause when this question was asked to him. And I think it comes from even me being a parent asking him this. And so the question is, have you ever asked your child what they wanted to be when they grow up? I even done it. I've, not, I've, I've did it as a parent and then also as a teacher and um, not realizing the effect of doing that or even saying it or even wording it that way. And so, you know, some kids will say, you know, something that they've experienced, like I wanna be a police officer. You know, if they like fire trucks, I wanna be a, um, a firefighter. And you see that a lot when they're about like three years old, they will actually say things that of the role models that they, um, they, they mimic which is like, I want to be a mommy. I want to be a daddy. I want to be a teacher. I want to be the police. And these are all community helpers, their life experiences, their parents, um, people that they have seen or surrounded themselves with or have some type of interaction and just seems really cool, like driving a fire truck, driving you know an ambulance. So usually, they do do that. And I'm not saying that in their heart, they really don't want to be that. But see, there's a place that the children, they come into, and it happens a little bit older when they start realizing self, self-awareness and me, and they're exploring themselves, um, that they start trying to understand themselves but because we've asked them what they want to be, sometimes it affects themselves and their self-worth in the sense that um, why can't, and this was the question that after I thought about this, it was just like to me, well, why can't being themselves be enough? And when it comes to that wellness, awareness, um, loving self, and being okay with me is what I'm driving at. Um, I think that we do need to word it differently as parents um, in supporting adults and not ask them what they want to be, but more so, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you see yourself doing when you grow up? Because we need to teach our kids that being themselves is enough. Being me is enough and let them be okay in that. Let them focus on their strengths. Let them focus on what defines me to be me, who I am. And what, what qualities do I possess? What gifts do I have? And explore me, explore my strengths and know that that is okay and that is valid and it's good enough. And so yes, right now, from two to seven, eight, nine, I want to be me. And that's okay. And it's so funny. I didn't think about it until my daughter said this one day when she had to write about, you know, who she wants to be. And then she said, you know what? She told my husband, she said, you know, I just want to be me. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I just want to be a child right now. And I just want to play. And you know what? That is okay. That is okay. And I'm not saying that 
We don't teach our kids to think ahead, but it is okay for them to just be themselves. And if that's where they are and that's current for them, that has to be credible. It has to be acceptable and it has to be valid and it has to be enough. That has to be enough. And we have to teach our children that that is enough. We even sometimes have to get into that place and to own it for ourselves, even as parents, that that's enough. Me being enough, me being me is enough. And what I have to offer is enough. It's a lot. I have my gifts. I have my talents. Those things that I've been created with, and that's enough, and that's important, and I'm important. And so this is what I want to, how I want us to rephrase it today is not by saying, who do you want to be? But what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you see yourself doing? And so it's not to say that we don't want our children to think ahead. Yes, let them think ahead, but think in this terminology. What do you want to do when you grow up? What do you see yourself doing? So that way, what, who they are can develop and they can find in themselves what they're good at and see strengths as opposed to seeing their strengths as weaknesses and be okay with that and say, okay, this is what I want to do with what I grow up with who I am. And so it will tie and connect. And so they're not really searching as they grow up and as they get older and even into their adult life, they're not trying to still find themselves because they know who they are. And, you know, and understanding yourself is it's a lifelong journey. And so we don't want them to feel like that's not good enough. And we don't want to feel like that for ourselves, even as parents. And so today I am challenging us all to rephrase it what you're trying to get them to think about and to see um, the potential and the possibilities beyond where they are, let's just ask them what they want to do when they grow up instead of who they want to be because who they are is enough and who they are evolving into being is also enough and it's valid. And so let us continue to speak life and know that we are making an investment today for our children tomorrow. And so this is why we can't um, just word it anyway and they're, then therefore um, they're on pause, which is part two um, later on. But we want them to be able to understand and to process and to be okay with being who they are. Don't forget to like this video, to share this video, and to also remember that you are enough. You being who you are is enough. And just be okay in that. And let your children know that. And your child and um, other kids that you um, come in contact with know the same thing too and don't forget to subscribe below and you have a wonderful day